Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Decided to bring you along shopping with me. We are going into my local Aldi's. I wouldn't really call it local since it is over 45 minutes away from me. We're gonna see what kind of new vibes they got going on. Personally, I haven't been in Aldi's in yeah, probably about a year. I've been doing a lot of the curbside pickup, easy in, easy out. But today we're gonna go in and we're gonna bring you along with us. Let's see what they got. There we are, going into our local Aldi. See if we can get a good shopping cart, you know. Gotta have our quarter in hand.
the price here. I know that. <laughs> it's crazy. I don't eat that much bacon, so. Oh, yeah? Really? Yeah. Yeah, I went to Walmart the other day. It was like $8. Yeah. Like, oh. And that was at Walmart. Yeah. So I was like, Whoa. Well, you guys are chicken fried and you is like, yeah, you know, phenomenal. Yeah. These prices are pretty crazy. I was at uh, Publix just picking up a few little sample items, you know? Uh -huh. And it was uh, $15 for three chicken breasts. And I was like, <laughs> y'all must be on some kind of drug. Yeah, there used to be this like pre-made, I used to go there and buy their uh, pre-made meals like when I was a bachelor. Yeah. And the price of it has doubled. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they used, I used to buy them, for, I remember I used to buy them for $7.50, they're only $14. Mm -hmm. Wow. Pretty crazy. Okay, so we're done. We're sweaty because it's unbelievably hot with a very high humidity. Uh, we already went to Sam's Club this morning. Sorry I didn't film it. And sorry that the filming in here is a little spotty. It's my first time inside a store filming, so bear with me. I will get better. We are going to go home, get this all set up, and I'll show you what I got. I'll let you know now that I spent $145 at Sam's Club and roughly of $130 in here. Not bad, under $300, and I got more than enough food to last quite a while. Normally, I only do once a week shopping because uh, the produce right now here in Florida is just redonkulous. Like, you get it, you buy it that day, it's nice, it looks fresh. The very next day, it's wilted, slimy, and gross. I don't know what's going on. If y'all know anything, comment down below. Let me know what's going on with our produce. Okay, guys, we're back home. Got the groceries set up from Sam's Club and from Aldi's. And now I'm going to quickly run through it, show you what we got, and end this video so all this cold stuff can be put away. All right, we're going to start over here on my stove. We have a case of peaches, slices, and heavy syrup. What, 12? 12 cans of pear slices and 12 cans of cut green beans. My family will tell you I go through a lot of green beans. I love me some green beans. All right, rotating over. As you can see, there's a good amount today. The command knockoff large picture hanging strips. I have a calendar in my room that keeps falling off the wall. We got some extra virgin olive oil, some avocado oil, a sea salt grinder. I checked out the pink Himalayan. They look terrible. And I'm dropping everything. That is my husband's rotten cat, Sassy. 
We have two packets of Tyson Brown chicken, a pack of boneless, skinless chicken breast tenderloins, and thin sliced chicken breast. This was those pumpkin candies, the Belgian chocolates that I picked up as a little sweet treat for the hubby. We got some organic zucchini, some mini cucumbers, a bag of green grapes. I don't see these lasting long. My daughter has a thing with grapes. This little cutie's name is Snowball. We did not pick her up at the store. She's just getting into everything. Got a pack of unsalted butter, two tomatoes, avocado dip and spread. This has got coconut and blueberry cream in it. A head of iceberg lettuce, a pack of um, bacon if I can talk today, two of the off-brand heat and serve breakfast links, and then we got the sausage patties. We found these gluten-free chicken breast bites. We got two packets, and we got these cauliflower ugh, ravioli butternut squash. They sounded really good, so we got four bags. Got one box of the gluten-free deluxe rice pasta and cheese, and one of the rice shells and cheese. This plus all the cans came from all of these and was 130. All right, moving on to all these. We got some orange chicken. This looked extremely good. Can't wait to try this. Got a gallon of milk for the kiddos. These are some apple straws. They are gluten free. You have to fully read the label because it doesn't have the gluten-free emblem on it, but the kids like these, especially my son, and I wanted something sweet. Craft Singles, like all their cheese was on sale. I don't eat this, but my kids do. Got some sharp cheddar cheese, Mexican style. Both of these were each $5, so that was saying it's cheese. We got some Natural Bliss Sweet Cream, one of my favorite creamers. We got some mild cheddar cheese slices. This is the cheese that I prefer to eat. This I picked up from my mom. This is the Smithfield Anytime Ham Steaks. They come in a three pack and this one was $11.78. It's the cheapest I've seen this in about a year. So we picked that up for her. This was on sale, the Body Armor Sports Drink. We haven't tried it. They're 15 calories, 2 grams of sugar. Um, they're not supposed to taste like aspartame or anything like that. So, we'll see and we'll let you know. Got some Sunny D for the chitlins. Get some extra vitamin C in them. Two cases of the Premier Protein Chocolate, 30 grams a piece, 160 calories. I have to drink one of these a day for my bariatrics. So, chocolate. Best flavor, don't care, hands down. Got some chocolate covered raisins for the hubby, little snack while he's out there on the road. And some famous Amos chocolate chip cookies. These will be devoured by the kids and the hubby. So that's all for my groceries. I'm gonna jump off here, get all these put away because I got kids screaming they're hungry. You know, bringing in food and seeing food, you know, it makes you hungry. It makes you hungry shopping. But, uh, Sam's Club, $150, Aldi's $130, this stuff will last us quite a while, like Premier Protein Shake will last the whole month. The cans we don't go through as fast because we're not big can eater, they're just something to keep prepped up just in case. Fresh fruit, they're not going to last long, especially my daughter with the grapes, better steal one now. But, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and consider subscribing. Have a good one.